Whoa. Hello. You like my rack? Not not this rack. This th this this rack. Yes, I did drag out my doormat so I could put on shoes without getting my floor dirty. Efficient. Hello everyone, it's Lynn again. The most beautiful season, autumn, is upon us. Spooky season is up and coming. And most importantly, I can wear jeans and a sweater outside without, you know, sweating my Asian flush out. So today, as you can see, I will be putting together some spicy autumn outfits. And right here, we have a variety of clothing that I've mostly gotten secondhand as hand-me-downs, vintage. A couple, I do believe, are from traditional retailers. And there's quite a handful that is from ThreadUp, the sponsor of today's video. By the way, if you want to shop on ThreadUp, they were generous enough to offer you guys a discount code. You can get an extra 30% off of your first order if you just enter the code LIT. And I also have it linked in the description box. ThreadUp is an online retailer for secondhand clothing. So essentially, you're thrifting online. Traditional thrifting has its ups and its downs. It's kind of tough to access thrift stores right now. Also, you may not find what you need at a thrift store, and there's a good chance that there isn't a huge range with size inclusivity. For me, I chose to shop at ThreadUp because I've been looking for staples for my wardrobe since I'm kind of settling into the sense of style, fashion, that I kind of want to keep, hopefully, for the rest of my life. And investing into clothing that will last you a long time and trying to be environmentally conscious while doing that is extremely expensive. But with ThreadUp, you can shop with brands like Madewell, Lululemon, but secondhand and up to 90% off the retail price. They add thousands of new clothing items every single day, and if the clothing doesn't fit you right, they have a really easy return policy. Shopping is easy peasy, you open up the app, I filter all my sizes, and I personally like looking at clothing categories like skirts, pants, dresses, rather than searching for a specific brand, mainly because that way you're offered up a much wider variety of clothing. You get a ton more styles and unique pieces that you may not have found by by searching within a brand. And with that, I'd like to segue to our very first outfit. Ay, outfit numero uno. First off, I just like to say, I feel very attractive. If I saw myself walking down the street in DC right now, I'll be like, who is she? The entire outfit besides the jewelry, the shoes, and the bralette, is from Thread. I style this outfit as monochromatic. You know, I love a good monochromatic look. The fun thing you get to play with when you have monochromatic looks is texture. Every item of clothing on here kind of goes together, but they all have varying contrasting textures. Like the mesh of the skirt and the sheer bodysuit. Have the leather feature of the shoes and the wool of the jacket. Fuzziness of my little my little hat, my little beanie. I can't tell if I look like a Soviet Union soldier or if I look like a cool grandma in New York City. And of course the purse, I love the purse. It's a little box. It opens up and has a ton of space. Now let me tell you about the deals I got on this outfit. I swear the only reason the Asian of me wanted to learn math for so long is so I can sniff out a good deal. Like yes, I will be pulling out my graphing calculator in the clearance section. The bodysuit is originally from Nasty Gal. An estimated retail price of $60 and I got it for $16.80. The wool coat is from Zara. Estimated retail price of $150 and I got it for $50.40. The Worthington casual skirt was estimated to be $25 and I got it for, oh my gosh, $6.40. Mm. This is a turtle fur hat. Estimated retail price, $54. And I got it for $14.40. And lastly, this little purse right here. Estimated $73 retail, and I got it for $19.17. Damn, I look like a million bucks. I know this is not actually worth a million bucks, but I'm not gonna tell you that. But let's go ahead and try some other outfits. Okay, outfit number two. This is what I like to call the outfit I'll wear while romanticizing my online classes and imagining that I'm not actually in a Zoom breakout room. No, I'm in a fancy college and library studying my aesthetic way. The outfit is casual but still put together. As you can see, I am wearing an oversized men's Ralph Lauren polo tan jacket. I thrifted this this summer for $7. I like oversized things because they feel like a warm hug. And I don't get a lot of warm hugs nowadays. The jeans are secondhand Lee's jeans. This pastel green mock neck is actually 
from Preta is a Valerie Stevens sweater. Estimated retail $36 and I got it for $12.80. And I coordinated the green of the sweater with my shoes, which are really the star of the show. They're green Nike 90s dunks and they're they're so beautiful. I love them. I cherish them. I get a little bit sad if a new crease shows up in them. And to really pull off that liberal arts student vibe, I have these earrings from Monet's Lilies. I'll link the seller down below. And my backpack which is a happy little bit of yellow. It's from Maki Yobi Threads. So let's bop on over to the next outfit. <laughs> outfit Toi. Or is it Toi? This is the European Toi. <laughs> this outfit is so badass. I don't know, sometimes when you make up outfits in your head and you put it on, you're just like, sometimes your imagination just does you better than you are in real life. But this one definitely lived up to the expectations. I'm wearing the same mock neck as before. Under this beautiful deep emerald jumpsuit, I got this secondhand for like $15, $16. It's originally from ASOS, ASOS. The boots, of course, are Doc Martin, and I feel like the boots and the little petticoat really go hand in hand to make the outfit more badass, less formal. This little petite blazer is originally from Express. I got it through Thredda. Estimated retail price, $89. How much did I get it for? I got it for $12.80. Really hesitant to buy this blazer mainly because gray is not my color. I feel like gray is the least owned color item I have in my closet. I have no grays. It's either it's black or it's white. There's no in between apparently for me. But the style of the blazer is something that really attracted me and I really like the cut. And I was like, you know what, just go for it. And now I love it. And that's why I'm taking risks. It cuts off perfectly at my natural waist and just ties the entire outfit together. It's a blazing. It's a blazing. Puns. Kayla, do you like my puns? Yeah. I don't know. So let's boop off to the next outfit. Oh yes, outfit number four. If it weren't for the wool hat, it obviously would give me like mom at the farmer's market vibes, like farm to table kind of vibes in a very good way. And the wool hat is just a little autumnal touch. Hmm, <clears throat> Lintron, what are you wearing today? Well, I am wearing this beautiful summer dress by Chrissy Dawn. Chrissy Dawn is this amazing brand. They're based in California, I do believe. They are sustainably sourced and environmentally conscious. I bought this dress because I have been looking at it all summer, desiring it with all my heart. And then they announced a lovely summer 30% off clearance sale and yes, I bought this dress. You can easily take a summer dress, layer a, a sweater underneath it, and it's all of a sudden appropriate for autumn. Like, damn. Like, I look like a bottle of sexy spice. Turmeric. <laughs> ah. This white turtleneck right here is one that I inherited from my madre. She has owned it since the 2000s. I've owned it since like eighth grade. This little transparent green bag is from Depop. And the shoes are from Rue. They're this lovely green gingham that ties in with the purse. And my little hat is from Thredda. Estimated to be originally $36 and I got it for $14.40. Altogether, very spicy, very beautiful. I feel like a princess when I swish around. I kind of feel like a cylindrical pumpkin. Woo. Let's try on the next outfit, shall we? Outfit number five. And I know what you're thinking. Lynn, you look like a Roblox character. Well, bold of you to assume that that's an insult. I'm just saying, someone photoshopped me into a creeper or a Minecraft zombie, like, Twitter, do your thing. I always talk about on my channel about how I love 80s shoulder pad blazers, how I love that little, you know, legal defense attorney kind of look. And honestly, that, that, that statement has not come to true fruition until now. This skirt suit set, it was $14. And yeah, you know, for the gazillionth time, I like things that are green. I like things that are vaguely the skin color of Shrek. Obviously, if you stand still like this, you're, you're gonna look like a squid. But if you have some movement, like, damn, that fluidity, that, that dynamic. Let me take off the jacket for a moment to appreciate this just by the innards. The neck is the same from before, hand me down from my mom. This little camisole is actually lingerie. <laughs> it's from For Love and Lemons. And honey, if you don't own lingerie and you think you don't have a reason to buy lingerie, yes you do. You don't need no man or a relationship to own something that makes you feel sexy. And you know what? I love that lingerie is becoming more mainstream. I used to be horrified when I would walk by Victoria's Secret in the mall with my family. You know what? Wear lingerie for the woman. I appreciate women who wear lingerie so boldly because it empowers them like, oh! And of course, I decked it off with some lovely jewelry. This is thrifted. This is from ASOS a couple of years ago. I'm not sure you can find it now. And a rouge shoes from before as well. Yes, I love this. 
so much. I am really living my best life. Next outfit, please. Come right up. Okay, this outfit may be a little bit controversial, but I am here today to defend it. Yes, I have my essay written out in my brain. If you take the jacket off, it, it seems like an everyday outfit, you know, just like very cutesy, very cutesy, a fall appropriate, but then you add on the jacket. Mmm, Pipeland is a black owned anime streetwear brand and they're so amazing. They make this jacket and I've been wanting this jacket ever since I saw it because I do love Hunter x Hunter. I used to read the manga. I got this puffer during one of the restocks. I love it so much. It's very warm. I'm heating up right now actually. And it's definitely the star of this show. As you can tell, everything else is pretty muted besides the blue accents that tie into the light blue on the jacket. The sweater is originally from ASOS, got it from Threada. It was $16 when I bought it and it's estimated retail price 48 this dress which has huge ass pockets this canvas dark olive dress is from lucy and yak which is one of my favorite environmentally conscious brands because they have an amazing size range they go all the way to like triple extra large for a lot of brands that advertise themselves as sustainable <laughs> reformation the size inclusivity isn't the best and if they do have those sizes it just doesn't ladder that body type nicely check out lucy and yak if you're plus size i highly recommend their clothing it is adorable the sheer tights that we're gonna pretend has no holes in it and the shoes are goth wing the fanny pack i got from a garage sale sophomore year. Let's move on to outfit. Um, ah, wow, bro. Let me tell you, this outfit's out of my comfort zone. Mm, I look like one of those people you admire on Instagram and they end up being like five years younger than you and you're like, what? When I dress badass, I dress like a badass grandma. You know, so first off, this is a really nice transition outfit into fall because obviously you got a lot of leg going on right here. I mean, I'm not having a lot of leg going on. I'm 5'4", okay? Let's be transparent. But I layered my brother's boys youth extra large polo that I inherited from him when he outgrew it under the same sweater. Sweater. Sweater as before. This little houndstooth crop jacket. Thrifted it, bro. Thrifted it, bro. This little tote is from Rat Boy. It's a sustainable small business woman-owned company in California. I really love their brand, and their owner actually reached out and sent me a couple of things. So thank you so much. I love this bag. They also sent me this little handkerchief. They specialize in using dead stock fabric and in creating like hair accessories and handbags and duffel bags. A little pleather skirt. It's pleated. I got it from For Love and Lemons, the same place I got that lingerie cancel. And to tie in the jacket, I paired it again with my little Bex Doc Martens. I feel like a I feel like a cool teenager. <laughs> I'm damn like, you know, I'm only gonna wear this outfit to go grocery shopping and plant shopping because that's the only reason why I leave my apartment. But am I gonna wear this outfit to do that? Yes. Who wants to go see the next outfit? This is what the people in the movies in New York wear, I feel like, when it's cold. First off, I'd like to talk about trench coats and how long I've wanted one. I got a second hand from Threada. Originally retailed at $148 and I got it for $47.99. Trench coats are so expensive. To find a trench coat that was somewhat sustainably made is even more expensive. And I never had luck finding them at like a Goodwill or a consignment shop. Here I am, living out my 13 year old moving to New York dreams. Then we have this scarf. It's unbranded and I also got it from Thread Up. Six dollars, thought to be retail at 24. Let's, let's, let's take out the scarf so we can admire the shirt. Then is bringing back that grandma sofa chic, the little ribbon necktie. That, I want this to become mainstream again. Then we have my lovely black jeans. They're black skinny jeans. Got them from Thread Up as well. They fit me perfectly and before this, I actually did not own black skinny jeans. These were originally from Reformation. Retail 140. Got it for $61. And the heels, I actually found these at a consignment shop for $25. Snatched them up and they're such comfortable heels. These heels, if you buy them brand new from Everlane, are like $100. Here is your typical autumnal outfit. Is she not beautiful? Now, let us move on to our closing outfit, our very last one. Yeah, I look like the rich main character of a movie if rich Asian main characters existed in Western media. Kayla just meowed in agreement. Thank you, Kayla. The story behind this outfit is I saw this jacket at a vintage store in LA and I was like, oh my gosh, it's my size. It's beautiful, but the price was hefty. Not necessarily for a jacket like this, but for a secondhand shop, this was $80. And then Dustin, Dustin Moon told me, you look like Emily Gilmore when I tried it on. And then I was like, 
I'm sold. I really do love the vintageness of this outfit. The jacket is beautiful. This dress, which is a Max and Cleo dress, got it from Fredo. You saw that one coming, didn't you? I got it for $37.60. $119 retail price. That's 63% off, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this dress fits me perfectly, except in the bust area. In case you can't tell, it's a little bit big for me. Low key, the way it fits on me gives me some Lizzie Bennett from the BBC adaptation of Pride and Prejudice with Colin Firth, aka the best adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. It's a very beautiful satin dress. I really wanted to accentuate my waist because it was getting a little bit lost. So I used this leather fanny pack that kind of modernizes it. And I'm wearing the same secondhand Everlane heels from before. I feel absolutely regal. And that's all the spicy outfits I had to share with you today. Once again, thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. I truly love and enjoy ThreadUp. It's a great way to shop secondhand. If you want that discount, I can give you that extra 30% off just to use my codes LIN, L-I-N-H, or you can just click the link in the description box. I hope you guys have a lovely beginning to your fall or spring if you are from the Southern Hemisphere. And I will see you guys in my next video. Probably not this dressed up. But I will see you again. Bye! I can't. I have to take off my heels. Bye! <laughs>